presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the August 27th, the fantastic, and I do mean fantastic, Friday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find a gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. Go ahead. Send me an email. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question, of course, in our Tiger's Den. Any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network, I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, you got all the U.S. indices trading higher. The Dow up by 255, the S&P by 41, the NASDAQ 100, 149. The Russell is up 60 points out there. That's a big move there. Semi's up 58, Tranny's up 179, and we are going to start off with a treat. And that treat is John in Philly. Let's go out to John in Philly. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Steve, I'm excellent today, um, and once again, you sound 100% again today. Hope that's actually uh, the uh, state of your existence uh, entirely. I tested uh, positive. I, again, I tested positive yesterday for this darn COVID, although my doctor says, you don't have it. Uh, but, uh, you know, the tests come out and say I'm, I'm positive. So, uh, but hey, I'm feeling good, and I know you want to talk about the ES Mini, and specifically, I believe it is the two-hour time frame chart that you would like to discuss. So, tell us uh, what you are looking at specifically, and how I can best help you. Wanted to ask you a very specific question about that E Mini on the two-hour chart, just as you kick off your thorough review of the indices, and specifically, Steve, I just observe. Since the low uh, on Thursday the 19th, mm -hmm. the E-mini S&P has rallied, and that two-hour chart, and that's a chart that I do pay attention to, Yes, that in making new highs uh, this morning between 10 and noon, and we're at the highs of the day, uh, 4506 area now, that is in a Chapman Wave leg G on Correct. that chart. Yes. And long ago, it was a uh, student of Basil Chapman's. Um, he went by the call sign of Saratoga Bob in the Tiger's Den. Yes. He came up with a, uh, a trading tool that he used very successfully and taught me, and that was using, as he called it, the Chapman Wave Peak G cell signal. So uh, I make that observation, and... I wanted to just ask if you would uh, assess your Rose Momentum Indicator and uh, your TAS profiles and other factors that would uh, shed any lights on uh, whether or not the odds as you see it suggest an imminent turn on the very short term. So that's sure. the question I share with you. Okay. And uh, I'd like to just uh, leave that to you and listen off air. No problem. Hey, John, thanks so much for calling. Have a great weekend and uh, good luck on uh, Sunday.
out there. Uh, so let's take a look at the two hour time frame chart. That's what's up on our screen, folks. And so you can see that, that John had identified wave number seven. That's letter G. You're going to see I have both letter C and letter G. Part of the Chapman wave is really doing multiple counts at certain points in time. Uh, now that letter G will carry over to the current bar as soon as we get towards the close of that current bar. Um, that's not going to be till I believe 2 p.m. on my uh, charts out here. That is also going to be, John, uh, bar number eight of a TD nine count. And we know that it can be bars eight, nine, or the bar following nine that would be identifying a top. So how I would put this together, because you were asking, is there anything that shows that there may be an imminent uh, turn using the two hour time frame chart? So we'll go with Saratoga Bob's observation of wave number seven. Of course, we don't get that confirmed seventh wave count until we see a lower high on the following bar. So we're not likely to get that type of a confirmation until the end of the uh, trading session out there. And that would be the same thing with regard to the TD9 count. So, John, it may be that coming into today's close is where on the two-hour charts, you've got everything set up for potentially Sunday evening versus today. How I would look at this is say, okay, the two-hour time frame chart shows a signal, potential signal, how about a lower time frame chart? Oh, by the way, the road's momentum indicator, nothing is present there. So the only two topping signals, John, you have are wave seven and uh, the uh, TD9 count pattern. If we just simply go to the 30 minute chart out here, what we're going to see is I too have either waves number five or wave number seven. Um, I would have to say on the five on the 30 minute chart, it's more likely wave number five than seven. But where we're at here is bar number eight as well. So we know that at 130, you'll have a TD9 count top. That says a short term top should form between 130 and 230. That'd be bar number eight, nine, and 10. Yeah. Uh, so, 130 and three. Sorry about that. So I uh, until you would get a confirmed topping signal in the 30 minute. And I think this is really your overriding chart to be able to make whatever decisions it is um, at this stage here. I'd be looking for the confirmation on this time frame. Uh, for a confirmation of what you're anticipating on the two hour time frame chart. So I hope that element uh, helps you out. As I take a look around here at the other time frames, I don't have any other topping signals or potential topping signals, just the 30 and the 120. Uh, the weekly time frame, this is going to be the bar following week number nine. So the cool part about this pattern here, folks, is my my belief at this stage here is that, well, we're, we're in pretty volatile markets out here. We're seeing one day rates of change above plus 10 percent, below 10 percent fairly often here. But the cool thing about this week and then next week inside the ES mini, if the markets are going to move higher into October, which is not an easy task. September is the of all of the months of the year, the odds of September finishing higher than the prior month. That would be August. See how smart I am. The percentage is well below 50 percent. I think it's down in the between the 30 and 40 percent chance range. Nonetheless, if we see a close next week above this week's high, that says strong momentum move and that, uh, hey, screw Stevie's historical data. The markets are likely to move higher into August. So on the monthly basis out there, no topping signal whatsoever. The daily has taken out its uh, Rhodes momentum indicator top from yesterday. So it is still bullish out there. Short term top absolutely could form between 130 and three this afternoon. That doesn't really give you a whole lot of time to take a short position going into the weekend. See Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back in just a few. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, 
is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE, and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's go to our first question. Quite frankly, it is our only question in the uh, queue. John, thanks for the uh, call earlier. And that is uh, from Peak G. John was talking about wave number seven. Uh, that is uh, letter G on my charts out there. And uh, so this question here goes to Peak G. You got to love how all that works. And he wants to take a look at the Matador Resource Company, which right now is trading out at 2908. And it is above the top of its daily profile peak. So that's a positive. It's inside its bearish weekly profile, but above the center. So the next upside target here, till we go look at our other charts, is going to be 3114. The question is, did this complete a uh, bottom? Was there some type of bottom signal out here? Uh, back about uh, well, last week or the week before the trading day. It looks like maybe August 20th or so. So let's go answer that question for the uh, peak G out here. We're going to do what we're going to do here is uh, I've got it set up so that we can look at our eight panel, our multi time frame charts here for the Matador. So if you begin by taking a look at the monthly time frame chart, one of the things that peak noticed was that this formed way uh, not uh, bar number a TD9 count top. So that's in play. We can also see that the oscillator and change line has changed colors. So over time peak, price and that line are going to catch up to each other. Now, it could just simply be the line moving higher out there, but that's still an open element to be concerned with. If we take a look at the weekly chart, that was peak G. That's the top that was out there. It was also bar number nine. It was also Rhodes Mintum Indicator out there. Price is, as we discussed, it's trading with inside its weekly profile. So it's just really in a consolidation. But any moves lower out here, 2373 would be where you'd be looking at for support. The daily says we're not getting back there just yet. 
On the daily time frame, there's your bottom. You can see it is bar number eight of a TD nine count. And now price is headed to 29.44. If you're not in this peak, don't get in it right now because you're at 29.09 in price and 29.44 is the resistance level. If in fact price closes above 29.44, that tells us about a change in trend on the daily time frame and that price should head higher. Head higher to where? Well, I would say the next level of resistance, just go to the 195 minute chart. That's two bars during the day. That gets us in. Now, I can't drink at more than two bars during the day. You want to know the worst thing about COVID? I mean, there's many bad things about it. But as far as how it's impacted Stevie here. So I still have no taste. Of course, many of you out there say, well, wait a minute. That's not a COVID issue. You never had any taste to begin with. So, okay, I get that. Now I'm referring to the actual taste taste. So uh, a couple of nights ago, I decided, okay, I'm going to have some sake. Uh, I don't drink much, but I do drink uh, sake for sure. And uh, you know what t sake tastes like when you have basically no taste? Uh, it tastes like rubbing alcohol because you do not have any flavor whatsoever. And, and just, a just drinking a soda, it tastes like club soda out there. So it's tough uh, to uh, drink any alcohol. How did I get there? I don't even know how I got there. But we were taking a look at the Matador out here. And uh, so a uh, peak... You've got a nice bottom that is in play out here. 29.44 is going to be your next resistance level. Yeah, it was the I have no class for sure. And uh, I'd say 31.97 is its next price target. The 30-minute chart does show a TD9 count and wave number C pa uh, G uh, pattern is out there. So that says there could be a short-term top that is forming uh, by 1.30. But if the high, and so far the high out here is 29.14, if after 130 you see price trade above that and it closes above that, then in fact uh, this is telling you about a strong momentum move to the upside, but still 29.44 is your resistance level. So I hope that helps you out and take a look at Matador resources out there. And believe it or not, folks, uh, that is it for the questions that we've got. Um, I've got nothing. Well, oh, 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 wait a minute here. We did, did some. Uh, oh, I take that back. Uh, we've got one from Purdy. And uh, Purdy wants to take a look at. So some politics notwithstanding, is there more meat on the bone of Pfizer, PFE, to go long? So let's go take a look at uh, Pfizer, PFE out here, see where it's trading in relationship to market profiles and, and really anything else. Well, let me actually get this going on my multi time frame chart. Let's see how quickly can this uh, pick up out here. Uh, but that's not too bad. I, I, I shut down a number of things just so we could actually today on a fantastic Friday take a look at our eight panel charts out here. So here's what we know, uh, Purdy, and that is... Uh, Price right now is trading below the bottom of its daily profile. That's after forming a TD9 top. So you're taking a look at this to the upside. And right now the daily chart is saying you should be looking at this to the downside. And to the downside is the 4463 level. Now, today will become bar number six or should become bar number six of a TD9 count. That says if Pfizer is going to make a bottom, which you would ideally like to see that, occur uh, you that should take place between tuesday and thursday of next week and it should occur above 44.63 so the week the daily chart is saying hey you're too early to even consider a long trade because price is trading below support and you've got this pattern that might set up next week the weekly chart doesn't have much of a pattern well i take that back it's going to confirm a sell the d point because you've got a bearish, and you can see the A to B equals C. To, you can visually see that, I would think. And I can always take over my other charts and show you that. But I think most of you, you, you can see that out there. And that says price should target 44.22. We got 44, and that's the oscillator and change line. We got 44.63 on the daily. 195 minute chart, roads momentum indicator bottom. Uh, looks like the second bar below the bottom of its bullish structured profile. So, no, Ruby. Everything that we are looking at, both you and I, says no. Do not take the Pfizer jab now. Wait for it to get down to about the 4463 level and look for that bar number nine or TD9 count bottom. And I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in. Now we don't have no other. Now we have no other questions. Uh, inside the Tiger's Den. Nothing here by email on a fantastic Friday. It is the uh, getting towards the end of the summer. So many people may be on a vacation 
out there. So let's go take a look at the uh, general markets out here and see what it is that we see. Well, the first thing we see in looking at the equity future contract is prices above the top of resistance. That's the top of the daily profile for the ES mini. It also is negating that Rhodes Mintum indicator signal that formed yesterday. This suggests that the ES mini Oh, I don't have the chart up. That's a problem. I guess I should change over to those charts. That'll make it easier. And um, here we go. And that, that, that it makes it should make it easier for you. Um, S and P. If you sent a question, I'm not sure why it's not popping up on my uh, on my email. But if you re-forward that to me. Uh, it should pop up on my email, and I'll get right to it uh, for you. So please, please do that. I don't know how, how, how it didn't get through, but uh, email is kind of a mystery at times. Uh, here we've got the ES Mini. So let's go back to just simply the general markets. You're up above resistance. It's got an A to B equals CD price target 4,600. The NQ has already hit the A to B equals CD price target. Do not go short the NQ. This is a wide-ranging bar coming into the D point. Larry would kill you. I won't kill you, uh, but he would kill you if you sold a wide-ranging bar coming into the D point because he'd say, don't do it. Now, the next price target to the upside inside the NQ is going to be about the 15500 level. That's equal to the consolidation breakout out there. So that looks like it still wants to continue to move higher, and it may get above the 15500 level. Its next a to B equals CD price target area is 15,635. But I don't want to freak you out out there. You were already freaked out when we were talking about, hey, the NQ is going to get to 15,438, 15,500. It didn't take that long, did it? It took just a matter of about uh, four or five days. That was it. The Dow above the top of its daily and weekly profile, the Russell 2000, headed all the way up to 2322. We might talk about a strong move off the bottom. It's in the Russell 2000. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors 
spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we've got a couple of requests out here. One is to take a look at the U.S. dollar index. And uh, as we take a look at it, what we can see is that price right now is just consolidating with inside its daily profile. The top of that profile is 93.62, and the bottom is at 92.59. The low so far today, 92.63. So we just have a consolidation. Now, if price is able to close below 92.59, we should see price make its way back towards the 92-ish area. That's got a nice little rise trend line so that's what we know about the daily time frame as we look at the weekly last week was a breakout it is now termed a false breakout price had closed above the top of its weekly profile and it's back inside that level so what is it uh, why is it that the US dollar index stopped where it did last week and turned down the answer to that question relatively simple all we have to do is go look at the monthly time frame and on the monthly time frame that is the lower right you'll notice that price has been trading below the bottom of its bullish structured monthly profile when price trades below a bullish structured profile and there is a move higher a counter trend move will find resistance at the center of that bullish structured profile and that is exactly what has happened during the month of august so in the case of the u.s dollar uh, and I believe uh, the monthly chart has some type of topping pattern, although I can't go to it right now. So I'm just going to have to, uh, it, whether it does or it doesn't right now, it doesn't matter. Um, so the levels to be watching now to the downside are going to be 92.59. We may just have a consolidation with inside the profile. If somebody's telling you that the dollar croaked because of the way that it's trading today, well, those are people that don't trade with a competitive advantage like you do. You and I trade with a competitive advantage. Why wouldn't we? And that means we use these market profiles and realize that is a bullish structured daily profile on the daily time frame. So that really makes that 92, 98 level uh, muy importante. I don't really see anything else that I can add to the overall view of what's going on inside the uh, U.S. dollar index out here. So hopefully that helps you out. And, and I apologize. I don't recall who it was that had asked for that. The next request was to take a look at QuantumScape. So uh, let me do this here, do a couple of things. I want to see if I can get back to those other charts of mine. And uh, well, I know I can get back there. And let me type in a QS here while we just review what's going on from a profile standpoint. So from a market profile standpoint, Quantum Scape Corp is trading above. This will be day number three above the top of its daily profile, which was 2102. It's not like it's a gigantic amount above it. It's trading at 2163 right now. But nonetheless, that tells us about a potential change in trend, especially if we see on the daily basis some kind of bottoming signal. So now where would price go to? Well, here, using our market profiles, our only next price target is the bottom of the weekly at 39.86. So we'll just kind of leave it like that. And let's go switch back to my other set of screens out here, see if I can do this uh, relatively quickly. And here are your eight panel charts for QS. The monthly is not giving us any information. The weekly says you're in bar number, you're going to create bar number nine, you're going to create a TD9 count this week with yesterday, last week's low being the low. The daily's got a road momentum indicator bottom out here. And with price above the top of its daily profile, boy, that, that says this thing could run or should run to the 2983 level. Now, before it gets there, there was wave number seven. That's courtesy of Peak G and Saratoga Bob out there. And uh, bringing that, uh, John, in the Tiger's Den, bringing that to our attention. So this suggests that QuantumScape should make a move to 2437. No topping pattern on the 130, no topping signal on the 65. The 30-minute chart shows a road's momentum indicator top and just a sideways move. So QuantumScape here has is trading above support, though, the top of its bearish structure daily profile. If Quantum Stake Scape, if Quantum Scape pulls back further on a 30-minute chart, it should find support at 2145. And you've got a TD9 count bottom forming on the 15-minute chart. So uh, again, I don't recall who had asked about QuantumScape. 
So, uh, uh, but I hope that that helps you out. There was a question to take a look at. MSGE. Let me MSGE. No idea what that is off the top of my head. I know that's not Madison Square Gardens. MSGE. At least I don't believe it is. I think it was just MS. It is Madison Square Garden. I always thought it was just MSG. When did they add the E? Or, 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 or am I just losing my mind? Now, that's an absolute possibility out there, but I always thought it was just MSG. Maybe they didn't like that MSG because, you know, it was a, is, hey, did you, I used to own a Chinese restaurant. Did you guys know that? Absolutely. It was, a, it was I started in, I started one of the first um, just carry out, just delivery. It was really a delivery. It was a, it was a takeoff on a Domino's uh, pizza out there. But you know how they say no MSG? I always thought when uh, restaurants said no MSG, you know, in their food, especially Chinese restaurants, I was like, hey, okay, it makes sense. MSG comes in these huge barrels. I mean, the barrels stand up four feet tall. And uh, uh, most Chinese restaurants use MSG, folks. In any event, Madison Square Gardens, what do you got out here? Hey, way above the top of its uh, daily profile, 64 and a quarter. Profile-wise, the next target would be 90.28. Um, so, and we're looking at the uh, daily time frame charts out here. So let's let's step back for a moment. What do we know about Madison Square Gardens on a daily basis? Forms a nice TD nine count bottom. Price is above its oscillator and change line. Its price target is 90.50. We have a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom on the daily time frame. Its price target is 83.21. Uh, you've got a TD nine count pattern. No, you don't have a TD nine count pattern on the 195 minute chart. You don't have. Well, you do on the 130. But if price can uh, close above, the level is 78.35. That tells you about a strong momentum move to the upside. So, Madison Square Gardens looks uh, muy bueno. Let's go out to John in New York. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? Good. I'm glad to hear you're doing better, Steve. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And Fidelity Covington, I believe, F-E-N-Y, is that what you would like to discuss? Yes, I sold all my, uh, today it was very strong, so I sold all my holdings. And I'd like to know what price would you go back in? Because uh, um, crude and okay. the natural gas are bullish now, right? Natural gas is gigantically bullish. Uh, crude oil is up against some resistance levels. I don't. It looks like it's going to try to clear it uh, today. But uh, if you're asking about natural gas, it, yeah, it's it's absolutely on fire. As far as where would you so you're really micromanaging this one here? I mean, you had a nice bottom and prices above on a daily basis, the top of its profile. This is really suggesting that this wants to make a move to 1393 to 1467. Now the next stop up here, the next resistance level is 1361. And that's coming to us after a TD9 count pattern on the 195 minute chart. And that becomes your TD9 breakdown resistance, 1361. So what you're looking for, John, is you're looking for that to hold as resistance and then price to pull back. As far as pullback areas, 1337 to 1310 to 1298 those would be the areas right now based upon based upon the signals those numbers are going to change just a bit but that would give you a, a fairly decent idea but more likely than not short of those levels holding as resistance because i don't have any topping signals uh at the moment uh price is more likely to make a run for 1414 before it really begins to pull back. But you gotta leave the third, you know, so you've sold it, hey, congrats. You probably made some nice bread on it. So no problem there, but it looks to me like this still wants to continue to move higher. And the best entry point would be to find some nice type of top and then some nice type of uh, 30 minute bottom out there. Does that help you, John? Yes, and uh, can I make some comments about the ivernectin? Um, no. You can't. Um, we just we don't want to. You can, you can send me an email. Here. Send me yeah. Send me an email. Steve at tfnn.com. You and I can talk about it all we want. Then. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value 
or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We got the uh, charts for Snowflake. S N O W is a ticker symbol up on our screen. That's for David H. And David's question is: Do you think snow has a good chance to hit the 327.41 uh, area out here? So here's what we know: We know that price is above the top of its daily profile. So unless we've got a topping signal on a daily basis, that looks good. Uh, the weekly chart right now is trading above the top of its weekly profile. That formed this week. 280.72 was the top and prices above it. And it's a bear structure profile. So that's good. Now, what I would do here from a target standpoint on a weekly basis, I would probably take a look at the February 8th. You're looking at February 10th. So we're looking at about the same thing. And there's your 327.41. So the volume of that swing point, which price is trading into right now, the volume had 14 million shares. You're already in it with 30 million shares. So I'll answer that question as a big as a big yes. Let's go look at Stevie's other charts out here, though, uh, because that doesn't mean that it's going to do it uh, today or tomorrow or the next day. And let's look at that eight panel chart. So on the eight panel chart, the daily chart is what we want to really focus on. Well, first, the weekly chart, you're going to be in bar number eight of a TD9 count. So it just says caution out there, David. The weekly chart is confirming a road's momentum indicator top, but price is above the oscillator and change line. So it's really a neutral signal. Now, David, if price gets down below that OUL and it gets below, so let's say, let's call it 289.70. Uh, if price gets below that, you should expect price to get back to 275 or 262 or even 246 out there. Uh, TD9 count top on the 65-minute chart, TD9 count top on the 130. Uh, 
the topping pattern on the 15 minute chart. Oh, I don't want to spend too much time on the 15 minute. So this looks to me more likely that what Snowflake wants to do is uh, melt a little bit and pull back. So the areas to watch, I say, out here are 289.95. But yes, the weekly chart is suggesting that price will go target that uh, level that you were looking for uh, over time. And uh, that was the uh, 327.41 level. So, David, thanks so much for writing in. Hope that that helps you out and have a uh, fantastic weekend. Uh, inside the Tiger's Den, uh, Dan wanted to take a look at uh, Sav Cassava Sciences, S A. VA, if I'm not mistaken, out here. And Dan was mostly interested in some short term. So we've got our eight panel charts out here. We can take a look at a number of different things. But the shortest term time frame that I've got on this eight panel chart is still loading out here. Dan is going to be the 15 minute chart. So we'll start with the 15 minute chart as soon as it calculates. And here you've got a, uh, a roads momentum indicator bottom pattern. Uh, price is just consolidating with inside its profiles. So your range here is 5403 to 6509. No idea which side gets uh, broken through. I'd say more likely than that, it's a 6509 out there. And if price can close above 6509, your target is 7307. That's the 15 minute chart. Support again should be between 5403 and 5583. On a 30 minute time frame chart, I have no bottoming signal, although it is in wave number four. That's letter. D and Basil likes to say something typically happens after wave number D. So I guess we're seeing that and price is inside its profile. No bottoming signal on the 65, no bottoming signal on the 130 out here, um, no bottoming signal on the 195. The daily time frame, let's open this up a bit here. So you're below the bullish structure daily profile. This is going to be day two below that. Price pulling back into the 4811 area. Uh, I need to add another breakout level. So give me a moment to do that. I only, I'm only showing three right now. So let me do this and add a fourth one in there. Uh, four. And let's go see where that, that additional breakout area is. Because if 4811 fails, where is it headed to next? Is there another one? Mm hmm I don't have another uh, breakout level, so we'd have to use some other measures. So the question really, Dan, is, is there a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside now in cassava sciences? And to make that call, you and I are going to switch over. For me to be able to easily make that call, I'm going to switch over to my black background charts out here. So give me a moment to do that. And then let's go see if we have that confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside. So it'd be great if I get my cursor back. There we go. So the swing point we're looking at was from the trading session of uh, July 30th at 25. Oh, you have a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside in cassava sciences. So let's go see where that takes us to. Uh, this is uh, the swing point is being taken out with massive volume out here. And so the one to one gets you to 4535. And the 1.272 gets you to 23.27. And you can also see that price is going to close or appears that it's going to close below the bottom of its bullish structured weekly profile. You know, when you close below the bottom of bullish structured profile, for whatever the time frame is, in this case here, it's Cassava's doing it for its daily and its weekly. There is nothing more bearish than a failed bullish pattern. And that's what you've got here. So now I just simply go back to my weekly chart out here. I'm not going to switch screens. And 3605 is really going to be the next target to the downside, which is in between that A to B equals CD. So uh, Dan in Boston, I hope that helps you out uh, with regard to cassava sciences. And thanks so much for the request. The next question coming in from Rich. Rich says, really good to back on your health and improving. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Could you please look at MRNA, your long term long but it looks like it might be breaking down let's go take a look at uh, moderna out here mrna and see what it is uh, doing and uh, i'm going to get that started on my eight panel charts as well so all it's really doing right now uh, rich until i can go to my other charts and see any kind of signals you've just got a consolidation you've really got two consolidations the first one is with inside the daily box and it's a bullish structured box. So your key level of support here is 358.63. So if you're long and you're long long term, you have no reason to exit the position. If price close below, two consecutive close below 35, 358.63, well, then you may have trouble. You've got a hammer candle that formed, and this is where you're going to really watch. You're going to watch the day of August 16th. 
349 even Stephen. If price were to close below that, and certainly close below that with 23 million shares, you'd be looking at a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside. We have an expression here. If you close below the bottom of a hammer candle, if you're long, you're wrong. So you're going to really want to watch that area. I'm not saying price is going to close below that. I'm saying if price did close below that and you were long-term long, you'd have to um, – you'd want to hedge the position. If you don't want to take gains, you'd, you'd want to do something because it would be signaling to you lower price. You might say lower price to where, Steve-O? And Steve-O would say the profile say 270.75. That's without doing the A to B equals CD pattern out there. So let me pull over – or not pull over. Let me just go over. Let's switch screens out here. Let's go to our eight panel screens. See what they're communicating to us on Moderna. Let's take a look at the daily time frame. So on the daily time frame, if we're looking for tops – what do we have? There are so many A to B equals CD patterns out there. That's what it topped with. Again, price pulled back, tested support. That's your hammer candle out there that you're looking at from August the 16th. Yeah, price is struggling. It's below that oscillator and change line. Uh, but that's resistance 420 and support is 358. I don't have a reason here to tell you to jettison that position, as really we discussed in the black background charts. 327.50 is a support level on the 195-minute chart. That's after forming a Rhodes momentum indicator top out here. Uh, that hasn't been busted through. 30-minute uh, time frame chart. What do you have? A TD nine count bottom. So here's where you're going to get a signal in Moderna as to whether or not it wants to continue head lower, like the 358 level. You've got a TD nine count bottom, and if price closes below that low, which is 378.72, that tells you to expect price to head lower, 361.01 to 358.63. Rich. I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for your kind thoughts. Have a fantastic weekend. See Rhodes with the FNA. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it every morning. morning. Primal Edge.
Just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So this next one's going out to REO Speedwagon uh, from Champlain, Illinois out there. What did the REO stand for? Anybody know out there? But we're going to go take a look at Palantir. PLTR is the uh, ticker symbol. And as we've got our eight panel charts out here, uh, what we can see is that price is very likely targeting 2692. 2692 is its TD9 breakdown level. We say that because we don't have any kind of a topping signal and price is trading above the daily profile, which is 2536. So it looks like you're going to get 2692 out of it. I'm going to switch over to my uh, black background charts because uh, they have something worth showing you. And that is where the real resistance level is in Palantir. And that is, we talked about this during the show today. Whenever price closes below a bullish structured profile, that is the center panel we're looking at. That is the weekly time frame chart. You can see how price was below that. Whenever price is below that, any rallies, if they are just counter trend rallies, will find resistance at the center of that box. And as you take a look at Palantir, that is exactly what it did on the trading week of June 21st and June 28th. Now, price is back inside that box out here. So REO, we know the daily suggests that price is going to go hit 26.92 and we know at $27 you've got resistance. What I don't know is whether price can take out that resistance level on this next run. This week, price is moving higher with 215 million shares. So it is moving higher into the swing point from June 28th with higher volume. What that tells me is that price should go test that high, that 27 level. And that's really what we got on the daily time frame chart as well. So it does look like Palantir is going to make it to 27. Whether it can make it above that level, we'll just have to stay tuned and come back and take a look at the uh, charts out there. So as we finish the show here, here's our nine panel charts. You've got the ES Mini above resistance, the NQ at 15,438, the one to one A to B equals CD, the uh, spot volatility X below the 50 day. The U.S. dollar sitting at support. Gold sitting at resistance. Silk just waiting for gold and the U.S. dollar to figure out what to do. Lights week crude trading slightly above resistance. Natural gas blasting off to the upside. Folks, stay tuned for two more great hours. Have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you on Marvel this morning.